This is just the serums, guys. Get ready for Best in Beauty Awards with Jen. Ah, eh, e, oh, ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, by the way, if I don't smile. When I'm really focusing on what I'm saying, I forget about this right here. Like, I have nothing going on on my face because it's all going up here. But I am smiling to you guys in my heart, okay? <laughs> hey everyone, this is Janet. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to Musafam, welcome. We have a tradition around here where I do my Best of Beauty Awards video for the Lunar New Year. Throughout the year, I've just been trying out hundreds, if not thousands, of products here in Korea. So I am putting together my ultimate best picks for the year. Last year, I did a lot of things. I worked with Cosmoprof. I worked with Beauty Cookie on our top 10 videos where we scoured through hundreds of products for each category, going through ingredients and really thorough checking, especially for sunscreens. We did go through that controversy and checked up with every single brand to see which ones have qualified for their new proper SPF testing documentation. I also did Quattra Live last year where I went through some of the best new Korean beauty products that have come out on the market. I've been sent tons and tons of products through the year. Obviously, that's part of my job. So I I actually feel like in my entire 10 years here on YouTube, 2021 was the year that I went through the most beauty products ever. <laughs> so hopefully this is a useful video for you guys. Up front, I'm going to let you guys know my skin type is normal with a slightly oily T-zone. Here in Korea, I just get a little less oiliness, but generally I'm considered what you would call normal combination skin. And I don't have too much problem with acne or psoriasis or anything like that. I do get occasional whiteheads and blackheads from pore clogging ingredients that I've been trying probably like through all the different products that I put on my face. But I am able to appreciate everything from products that are really suitable for teens, those who are going through acne and flare-ups and inflammation, as well as those who are in their more mature years and looking for really heavy duty stuff. So um, just considering all different types of skin types, I'm considering basically what ingredients are the best, what formulations are the best, in terms of what I think most people would be happy with putting on their skin on a daily basis and really enjoying the formulation. Sorry that this intro is long, but I think it's important so my Musafam already know what kind of criteria I prefer, but I'm just gonna quickly break it down for anyone who's new here. No artificial fragrance, and I do prefer totally scentless, but I'm okay with scents coming in from natural essential oils that are non-sensitizing. I also look for no parabens, no sulfates, artificial colorants, no harsh alcohols. So animal ingredients, I prefer ones that don't contain, but if there are some in there because the formulations are just so good, then I will be disclaiming it and letting you guys know. I also do prefer cruelty-free brands, although there will also be exceptions to the rule as well. Also sensitizing essential oils, which I prefer not to be in the formulas, especially if there are more than two, such as lemon peel oil and orange peel oil. But sometimes you just can't avoid things like rosemary leaf oil, which can have benefits, but again, can sensitize sensitive skin. I also do prefer organic, not to have silicones in my skincare. It's okay in makeup if it's for cosmetic purposes. There's a bit of controversy in terms of people's opinion about whether silicones are safe or not. Some say it actually helps to strengthen the skin barrier and allow the hydration to stay. But some research does suggest that it can block the pores. So I kind of prefer not to have silicones in there. So once the ingredients list pass the test, the texture is the most important to me in terms of using it. You know, you don't want something that's sticky or unpleasant or leaves a really overly greasy finish. I think stickiness is one of the main things that I like, uh, it turns me off a product. If it's something that causes me to want to wash my face after using a product, you guys know what I mean, then I prefer not to include that at all. So I would definitely like bye bye to those. So having considered all of these things, I have chosen all of the best for all the categories. Sunscreens, toners, first step essences, and emulsions, serums, ampoules, creams, eye creams, cleansers, moisturizing masks, wash up type masks, face sheet masks, eye makeup remover, hand cream and body lotions, sleeping masks for your face and your lips. And that's basically pretty much it. And we're gonna get started now. I almost feel like I need to say thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you're excited about this best of beauty awards video. As always, I'll have all the links to these products products down below. And final disclaimer for anyone who's really new here, don't be put off if some of my products are completely full like this. It doesn't mean that I haven't tried it, it just means that I have multiple bottles and that's the one that I've decided to show you. So you guys can trust that I really have tried and tested these and they have approved all of the above. Okay, so without further ado, let us begin with Jen's official 2021 Best of KBD Awards for skincare. Thumbs up this video if you're excited and let's start. 
Okay, so starting off with first step of cleansing, my favorite cleansing balm for the year was Pyongang Yu's Deep Clear Cleansing Balm. It's not as hard as Hamish's one, it's not as mousse like as the Vanilla Co one, but the ingredients are much safer. It does have a slight, slight smell to it, but I feel like this smell is a little bit more bearable than the stronger scent of Vanilla Co's one. It works really nice whilst it's being gentle. The taste is really pretty as well and really minimal and light and portable. But having said that, I'm not like 100% about it. It would have been even better in my opinion if it was totally non-scented. What about you guys? Let me know what your favorite was. In terms of another cleansing oil product for first step of cleansing, Neogen's Carrot Deep Clear Remover Oil Pad has been my favorite. I emptied this one out. For me personally, these cleansing oil pads have definitely been a bigger favorite than cleansing balms because as a mom, I just don't have that much time. All the moms in here will understand. It takes a little bit extra effort to open something and scoop out a thing with a spatula and apply it and close it again. Whereas something like this, you can do a little bit more of a thorough oil cleanse because it does have the actual tissue which you can physically use to make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies. Whereas something like an oil balm, you kind of just have to rely on it to do its job or use an extra tool such as a cleansing silicone brush. When you don't have much time, you just take one out, rub it over your face while you're doing something else and then like throw it in the bin. It's made of cotton so it's environmentally friendly and it works really well and you can use it on your eye area as well which is a lot more thorough because it's on a piece of cotton. I've actually never been a fan of using cleansing balms on your eye area for the makeup especially for waterproof mascara because no matter how safe it is in the ingredients I just don't like that the oil is getting into the eyes so easily and using your fingers to rub it through. It's good but I don't know I'd prefer something that has a cotton which is more of a thorough wipe rather than rubbing into the eye area. So my favorite has been the Carrot Deep Clear Remove removal oil pad and this actually contains beta glucan. It also contains ascorbic acid which is a vitamin C so it helps to brighten the skin whilst it's cleansing and it does have a slight carroty smell to it. Just a little heads up though it does contain lemon fruit extract, orange fruit extract and limonin which might be sensitizing to some people so just a little heads up but for me as someone who's super sensitive to fragrances it passes the test and I really love this one. For second step of cleansing I actually have four. I couldn't choose because these all were four of my absolute favorites. They're there is a one that I got sent by Olivaria which was really good but because I haven't been able to test it for a long time it's only been very recent but that was also pretty good too. But these four were my favorites like consistently throughout the year so let's go through them really quickly. The Cosrx Sika Cleanser. This is the Sika 7 solution and of course Cosrx has a really short ingredients list. It doesn't have any of the harsh ingredients that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. No essential oils at all. This one actually does foam a little bit even though it doesn't have any sulfates and it's got eucalyptus leaf oil it's got citric acid, pretty much only like a handful of other ingredients but it works so well without leaving the skin stripped at all because it does contain those Sika with ingredients which is very calming and helps to strengthen the skin barrier while it cleanses. You guys know that I hate cleansers that leave any type of soap scum on the skin. If it just, you can feel a little bit of soap scum afterwards, no matter how well it cleanses, it just doesn't pass the test for me. And also, I'm sorry for such a strong word but I, I really detest the feeling of my skin feeling dry even in the least after cleansing so I really am quite picky with my cleansers so these ones all four of them don't make the skin feel dry or anything. The Madagascar Centella Ample Foam by Skin 1004 which I did a whole video about as my skincare routine update last year is one that I discovered and I fell in love with last year. It has a really unique formula it's the same in terms of Cosrx the ingredients list it's really safe and mild and it has a really unique sort of metallic kind of look to the foam. It is an ample foam. So it's a mix of ample which is a skincare category together with a cleanser totally non-stripping contains the Centella Asiatica extract derived from Madagascar in there and it's just beautiful. You only need like a tiny tiny amount as well so like I've taken forever to just use this. I'm not even halfway through it. Okay we've got the Root Tree Phyto Ground Relief Cleansing Foam and this is pH balancing. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this brand. Yeah I haven't seen it anywhere and I'm actually trying to curate this on my website because I don't think you guys can actually find it online anywhere and buy it 
from Korea at the moment. But yeah, it says made in forest. The logo is like this tree and this is just, it's beautiful. This root tree one also is completely scentless. It's kind of really similar in terms of formula to this one. But yeah, it has a really similar formula to the Skin 1004. It looks similar as well, but it's like silver. It's really unique. It's like silver metallic, looks like makeup almost. Um, and it's got no harsh ingredients in there. It's so nice to apply. It foams without the sulfates, doesn't strip the skin. Beautiful. Last but not least, I think this was my top favorite from all of them, is the Ceramedic PH Azuline Soothing PH Cleanser. And even from the packaging, you just feel like soothed. It's such a nice, like soothing, calming, light blue color with no like harsh packaging writing all the font is in white so it just like looks really calming and it's got guayazuline it's a gentle ph balanced face wash and it's formulated with azuline ingredients which is notable for its calming and balancing properties and it helps to maintain the skin's natural moisture barrier hmm. i didn't realize but it does contain a slight refreshing scent but it's not from fragrance i believe it just smells like it's part of the raw ingredients uh, it's just so gentle and it like moisturizes the skin while like you use it it's just my absolute favorite. I feel like this is the most gentle one out of them all. So yeah, that was for cleansers, but I do have a cleansing water. So out of my favorite cleansing waters, it's really funny, but my favorite one this year, or well last year, was actually a baby product. And this is not available. I haven't seen it anywhere because it's a baby product. I haven't seen it on any sites or anything, and it's pretty much only targeted for local Koreans. So I wanted to bring it up so that it can gain more traction and maybe be made available. Maybe we can curate it on um, Curated by Jen, but it is called GNST. You might have seen it if you're Korean and you get local targeted ads for babies. But they basically make really gentle, mild formulas for babies. And it includes a cleansing water. And I think that's such a new thing to think about because there are only facial cleansers for babies. Anyone who has a newborn baby knows how hard it is to clean their face without getting into their eyes and ears and whatnot. But cleansing water is such an, I don't know, revolutionary way to make sure that when they first start to salivate a lot and get a bit of the irritation around their skin or when they first start eating or when you use sunscreen on them and it's hard to cleanse it off quickly or effectively using a little soft cotton pad with cleansing water that's safe for babies so convenient and it's almost like why has no one thought about it but at the same time because it is such a mild formula that is clean and as I say all the time adult skincare and baby skincare are just overlapping now in my opinion I think that they should because clean beauty should just be clean for everyone to use baby products I actually use it on myself too and if I find anything that is generally clean enough from adult products or formulas then I just use that on my baby as well because sometimes they're even better than products that are targeted for babies alone. Anyway, this Chok Chok cleansing water is just good. It's non-scented. It doesn't leave like a sticky residue on the skin. I do prefer to wash it off with water afterwards but you don't have to. It's meant to just be one for all. You don't have to go in and cleanse again afterwards. It works well. I prefer this one over any other cleansing waters from 2021. So that was it for cleansing. I hope this rate is okay. I'm trying to hurry because William is out with Leo and um, they don't have long. So <laughs> we have toners and I actually have a lot because it was so hard to choose. There were so many wonderful formulations last year and there were some new ones as well that I think need to be made known. So we're going to start off with the ones that everyone already knows. We're going to start off with, there's so many Cosrx in my favorites this year. It's like they've done such a good job. We're going to start off with Cosrx. So my favorite toner that I used on a daily basis, especially at my makeup table when I got ready in the mornings, was the Cosrx Hydrium Watery Toner. And it looks like this. I had this little one on my table and just went through this one last year, which is pretty good because I have so many products. It's actually, side note, really hard for me to finish any skincare products. <laughs> but yeah, this one contains a short ingredients list, no fragrance, parabens, sulfates, animal ingredients, essential oils, all that jazz, no alcohol as well. It contains panthenol, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, and hyaluronic acid, basically all all hyaluronates, sodium hyaluronate, everything that just like delivers hydration to the skin. And it also contains allantoin and that's pretty much all there is apart from the butylene glycol and ethyl hexoglycerin. Yeah, so I really enjoyed this one. It was just like a really quenching, hydrating toner that's gentle and non-scented and you can reapply it in so many ways. You can build it up, you can use it as a mask if you soak a, a cotton pad if you can be bothered to do that. I enjoyed it so much that I um, would use it on a daily basis. So that is a definitely definite favorite for hydration, for kind of like whitening or like allowing your skin to become more mild. That's what Koreans say, so like your skin's pigmentation getting less strong, if that makes sense. Um, my favorites were these 
too. So the Thank You Farmer Rice Pure Essential Toner, which is something that I found about two years ago and I included them in my beauty boxes and I know a lot of you guys have started to really love it as well. I personally in the past didn't really like Thank You Farmer's formulations because they were all very scented with a very artificial fragrance and some of the other lines still are like that and can sort of be sticky but the Rice Pure Essential line with the cream was my favorite and I still really enjoyed this one so as you can see that one is used up. I love rice as an ingredient especially if it's fermented because as you guys know there are so many benefits of rice. It helps with the pH balance of the skin, it's gentle, it nourishes, uh, moisturizes and it also helps to make your skin clearer and like brighter. So that was my favorite for Rice Field, the Rice Field <laughs> products. Then we've got the Root Tree which which again is a new brand that I love, um, Phyto Grounds Purifying Cream Toner. So you guys know Laneige came out with the Cream Skin Reviner and since then there have been a lot of cream toners. I like the Laneige one but my favorite was the Root Tree one. And this one is so unique. By the way, Root Tree looks like they have bamboo but it's actually kind of like a plastic with the bamboo on top but it's still kind of cute. Um, this has a really unique formula in terms of, look at it looks like a snail product. Can you see that? Look at it. It's like a sticky long line. It's really viscose whilst it's like this. It's really hard to describe. Snail products are sticky but this one is like, I don't know what they've done but it has this texture whilst it's really blendable and light and non-sticky. It's such a pleasant formula and again I'm not sure if it's a available anywhere but we're going to try and curate it on Curated by Jen because I think you guys need to try it. Such a beautiful purifying cream toner that is not sticky but it does provide a little bit more of nourishment and moisture during the toning stage. Something that I found last year is this new brand called The Green. It was sent to me by another brand that I normally like but I can't remember but it's their new line, the Clean Beauty line. It's cruelty free and alcohol free. It says Non Snail by Wild Yam. They basically basically replace the snail ingredient with wild yam which probably has been found to have the same benefits, skin benefits as snail products without having to use snail products. So for those who are like completely animal ingredients free, this one would be the one to go. It's non-scented as well. It's a really nice hydrating light toner. It doesn't have any scent but it doesn't have a raw ingredient smell. It's kind of like SK2 how you can totally smell the raw ingredients. It doesn't have that. It smells like it's kind of coated with something that's natural but like super super mild. But yeah it's very hydrating, it's moisturizing, slightly you can feel it afterwards but it's not sticky like this one I wanted to mention it for those who have acne prone skin or inflammation and you want something that's soothing and really tones the skin and clarifies it whilst it's cooling I love the keep cool and soothe toner it's the 85% bamboo toner which has bamboo extract or bamboo water as the first ingredient this is EWG green and it's got pH of 5.5 it's got amino acids and minerals it's super gentle super mild and yet just based on the bamboo extract as well as leaf extract fruits and root extracts in here. It's soothing, it's calming and it's healing while it hydrates your skin and it's a very clean formula so that one is a favorite which I think I had in one of my beauty boxes as well. Okay next, oh my gosh this is taking so long this category but guys get ready because there are so much, <laughs> the creams category is like massive but we've got Pyongang Yoo's Calming Deep Moisture Toner which is a new addition. I think it was one of their new lines last year. This is also beautiful and I found myself reaching for it a lot. Very very similar to the other ones in terms of no harsh ingredients in there but this one is more of a calming and deep moisture toner whilst it does cleanse the skin so clarifying. This one has a really refreshing and soothing natural scent. It's really pleasant for me personally. So anyway, I really liked this one. Now this one, I'm actually not sure if they still make it because when I was trying to curate it for Curated by Jen, I remember that they were saying some of their products they have decided to um, stop making. I'm not, I don't remember off the top of my head if they have stopped making this or not, but I love this line. So I hope that they bring it back. You might've seen it in some K-dramas actually, but it is the Cleederm Dr. Lacto by Barrier Cream Toner. I love their Barrier Lotion and their Barrier Serum. All three of these actually made it into my top the formulations are beautiful, they're non-fragranced, no alcohol, no animal ingredients, non-sticky, beautiful texture, all three of them. I just wanted to let you guys know about it. Maybe we can help them <laughs> to bring it back. I don't know if it was not doing well or what, but it's such a beautiful formulation, this toner. It's a cream toner, so I should have mentioned it straight after this Rice Pure Essential one. But this one has a Yakulti probiotics scent to it. <sighs> 
smells so yummy. I love these kind of products, especially if they're clean formulation as well. And it is a cream toner, so it does do like multiple things. If you just layer this on with like one serum or just go straight in with a cream afterwards, it's like enough. Last but not least, another one that I discovered towards the end of the year that I think is so unique and approaching my like anti-wrinkle category of products that I love now. This one has been like a staple and it is the CKD Guaranteed Retino Collagen Small Molecule 300 First Essence. That's the longest name ever. It contains flexible liposomes, trademark. Basically contains like all these hydrolyzed collagen ingredients in here. I looked through the ingredients this last time and it was like crazy. So thorough. They have basically everything in there. I believe there's Centella Asiatica, there's a niacinamide, there's Panthenol, there's Adenosine, I believe. But anyway, this one is completely non-centered and it's hydrolyzed collagen. So it's got that substantial nourishment in there whilst it helps with firming and anti-wrinkle properties. Love this one. Actually, this is a first essence. What am I doing? This is not a toner. So let's move on to our first step essences. And this one is the first product of that category. I'm sorry, guys. You guys all know this one, the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. I kind of feel like I don't even need to really explain this because I've talked about it so many times and everyone pretty much knows this one as one of the kind of first Korean first step essences that were comparable or replaceable to SK2's facial treatment essence. It is a microbio ferment complex of 93 percent so if you love your fermented ingredients for the first step essence this one still has been a favorite for 2021 i think it has a really nice formulation that's not too sticky one that has made it is something that's been around for a while and i never really took to it because of the fact that it looks so much like sk2's facial treatment essence and i just personally don't really like it when a product kind of copies something i think you should be original but i did start to realize last year that it's such a nice formula and it really is quite replaceable with the sk2 facial treatment essence although as i said in the past nothing can really replace it in my opinion i think that there is definitely a unique field and space that nothing can trump sk2's facial treatment essence but this one was still a good nice affordable dupe version which has good ingredients and it's clean secret keys starting treatment essence it's got galactomyces in there it does have absolutely no fragrance so if you don't like the facial treatment essence's raw ingredient smell then this one is an option for those of you who want like a cleaner scent um, it's nice, it's not too sticky, you can build it up, you can layer it, you can use it in many ways. It's got a nice glass container, I have to say, to keep it nice and fresh. It looks quite pretty, but that one has definitely made it to 2021s. Another one that I love is the Make Prem Intensive Essence Water for Skin Conditioning. And I chose this one because it has a very unique ingredient, which I haven't found anywhere else. And I personally love in my personal life for tea. There's so many health properties to this thing called Chaga Mushroom in Korean. It's Chaga Bosot, and it's a mushroom that I believe grows for 20 years on tree trunks or something like that. It's like really rare. It's hard to find. And in Oriental medicine, in the Asian world, there are certain healing properties attributed to herbs, roots, mushrooms, especially. And if you kind of create this concoction and you drink it daily, there are so many people who say that we're healed of cancer and all sorts of things like hair growth and whatnot. Chaga Bosot is one of those like amazing things. You should avoid it if you're pregnant though. But Chaga Bosot is something that I've been drinking and finding it in a skincare product was just like pretty cool and I really like it as well. So yeah, this is the Chaga Concentrate Essence. It's 100% Chaga Mushroom Essence. Yeah, it's intensive moisture without the stickiness. There's no like particular fragrance. It smells just like a mild tea and I think it's just beautiful. So this one is like, keep your eye out. Unique ingredients right there. We have the Dewy Tree Sika 100 Essence. You guys know 2021 was the year where single ingredient products came out. So we're about to get into them right now. Dewy Tree Sika 100 Essence made it for me. This is a completely new bottle because I have one over there, but yeah, I like this one it's got 100% of centella asiatica extract which you guys know has so many benefits it moisturizes it calms it soothes it's got healing benefits it's got anti-inflammatory benefits you can use it as a face mask on your face you can mix it in with products there's just so many things you can do if you really like centella as an ingredient as a tip going for products like this where it only contains that one ingredient that you know works well with your face is really good in that you can eliminate using too many chemicals in your daily skincare because no matter how clean we go, you still are using a lot of chemicals. So if you want to you know, avoid that, we've got products such as these. And we also have, oh my gosh, the sun just disappeared. <laughs> 
I'm just gonna keep going because I don't have time. One thing, I don't know if you guys came across this. So this brand basically specializes in one thing. We've got one thing, Centella Azio Attica Extract, the Niacinamide 10%, and then we've got the Hutunya Cordata Extract. There's another one that I just didn't bother to bring because I thought I'm overloading you guys, but these guys also win the award for best single ingredient products. It's portable, it's light. Of course, keeping in glass would have been even better, but if you just keep it in the fridge, away from direct sunlight for too long and kind of use it up quickly, I believe that they would contain a little bit of preservatives in there. If you guys don't know, brands can include preservatives to a certain amount without disclosing it in the ingredients list because it's a definition of it needs to be there to preserve the main ingredients safely, so it doesn't really need to be there. So even if you see something that says it's 100% of something. Just as uh, someone who's been working in the inside industry of um, skincare for a while now, I found out that they probably do contain preservatives to a certain extent. So you don't have to worry like overly about a skincare product going off too much, but yes. Yeah. I am blabbing. Let's move on. My last product for this category is something that a lot of you guys have actually been asking me about. And um, I did get sent all of their products. I used it before I heard that there's a little bit of a up and rising like hype around this brand. And so I used it with no thoughts like towards it at all. And personally, I'm gonna disclaim the, the brand really soon, so just stay there, <laughs> be patient. Personally, I wasn't really impressed with most of their products, but there was one that really stood out to me as really nice. And I think it was because it didn't contain an artificial fragrance in there, but it is the num, I don't know how to pronounce, numbers in toner. And this is number three and it's called the Super Glowing Essence. It has 50 types of fermented ingredients. That's pretty crazy. Like if you look at the ingredients list, it's never ending and it's full of fermented ingredients. It's a concoction of so many ingredients in there. It helps with brightness, glowiness, so elasticity and moisture and hydration. It does have a little bit of a fragrance that smells a little bit like Sum's Secret Essence, if you guys know what I'm talking about. They don't use artificial fragrance, I believe, but because they're so many essential oils and so many ingredients in there from like fruit extracts and flower extracts and whatnot. It just smells a little bit like a fragrance, <laughs> but it's not overly heavy. It's quite ple pleasant and nice. And yeah, I think this is a really nice first step essence to be honest. So this one has made it into our 2021's best first step essences. We are moving on. So I hope the breakdown has been okay so far. Sorry if I have like a BRF, bitchy resting face. No one says that in Korea. So I haven't said that for years. <laughs> It was like stuck around my mouth. I didn't know what to say. Okay, moving on to the next category, which are lotions and emulsions. Lotions are basically the kind of white light cream. So it's not really a cream because they don't usually contain occlusives in them in terms of sealing everything in, but it still is doing the hydration and moisturizing on the way there. But it looks like a light cream because they're usually white. So we have quite a few, two, three, four. We have five different lotions. And to me, lotions was important because lotions are what you use the most on a baby. So yes, this is partly for mamas out here, but anyone who likes a lotion and likes to apply these on their body as well, which for me, I personally love as well before I apply a cream, this was an important field. The first product is something I found new last year and it's called Sun Plus. Sun with a big plus sign. And this is called their Probiotics Balancing Emulsion 5.5 for their pH balance, obviously. This contains probiotics, a really beautiful texture that's gentle and hydrating, just blends really nicely without any stickiness. It feels refreshing and soothing and it's not too light. You can still feel a little bit of that nourishment, but it's not sticky or greasy at all. It has no scent. It's got a lot of product in there. It's a pump bottle. I really like the quality of their packaging. So anyway, I really have actually been loving most of this brand's products. That one is one that I wanted to mention and actually I like using this on myself. You can use it on your body, your neck, your hands, feet, and also on your baby as well. Another one that I've been loving is actually this small little product here. It's called Estra. I mentioned this last year in one of my favorites and I mentioned that I found it in my baby ward area in the hospital. So I actually bought it for the purpose of using it on Leo, but I found it later. It's actually just for regular people, uh, regular people. It's called the Ato Barrier Lotion for sensitive skin. And this actually reminds me, this brand actually kind of reminds me a bit of Real Barrier, but it has less of the herbal scent. So it's completely non-scented, lighter viscosity and nicer 
blendable texture than real barriers, creams and ocean. To be honest, I'm sorry I'm mentioning this, but hopefully like all little tidbits of information that I share is kind of useful for you guys somehow. But to be honest, real barrier while I was doing all of those like top 10 tests, I realized that some of their products are quite hit and miss, but we, let's move on. As Estra Ato Barrier Lotion for sensitive and dry skin is non-fragranced, it's light, it's blendable, not too heavy, not too thick, not too greasy, but not too light that it just completely goes away. And it's made for sensitive and dry skin. So I've been personally loving it, especially for Leo. It has never caused any irritation. So none of them contain essential oils. We have the Clear Dome Dr. Lacto Barrier Lotion, which I mentioned before. And I hope that this is not a product that they're discontinuing. It's such a beautiful, blendable, nice texture. And it has this beautiful, yummy, yogurt tea, yeah, cold tea smell. It has like a sort of slipperiness to it and it leaves your skin glowy and almost like shiny in a way, like smooth and shiny. Slightly more greasier, so good for dry skin. So we have two from Pyongang Yeo and it is these two. You guys all know me with Pyongang Yeo. So Ato Moisturizing Soothing Gel Lotion has been a good one for when I need to soothe and refresh Leo's skin. I personally don't really use it that much, but to me, this reminds me a bit of like an aloe vera gel without the aloe vera in it, if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's got no scent and it's really light and soothing. Unlike the other ones that I just showed you, it doesn't really coat the skin with a moisturizing kind of barrier feeling at all, but it just gives you that light hydration, soothing, refreshing moisture prior to using another lotion or a cream, if you guys know what I mean. So, you know, if you have dry skin, you don't just want to put a cream on top. You need to hydrate it first, get it into the deep layers of the skin and then um, seal it off. So that's what I would use as first step of skincare, face and body. And it comes with so much, guys, seriously, it's like a body product. Uh, we've got the Atoll Lotion Blue Label, which is a little bit more of a creamy product. It reminds me of like melted wax or something. It's slightly transparent looking, more of like a gel kind of cream feeling without being like watery and greasy. This one is just an all round product that I have around my house. Again, <laughs> I've mentioned many times, whenever Leo has a bit of a dry face or like my hands and feet are dry or whatever, it's just so easy to use and so much product in there and pretty affordable as well. It's got really clean ingredients list. Last but not least is my ultimate favorite. I think it's my number one favorite for lotions and it's the Declares Supple Preparation All Over Lotion. There was a reason I included this in one of my beauty boxes, guys. Look how massive this product is. 250 mils, you can use it for your face and your body. It's vegan, it's soothing and moisturizing. It's got a quick absorbing and light finish and you can just use it for like anything. The formula, I can't really describe, but it is definitely superior to all of the other five that I've just mentioned, which is why I always reach for it. And I've mentioned before that I actually use this on Leo as his post bath time product. Okay, so those were lotions slash emulsions. I did mention that I use it for Leo or my baby or whatnot, but it goes without saying that you can use it as well. Like if it's safe for your baby, it's really ultra safe for us to use. So I'm just kind of put that as a foundation that you guys understand. If I say that I'm using it on Leo, I'm already assuming you know that we can use it as well, but I'm just adding on top of that, that it's safe for babies too, for all the mamas out there. Okay, so moving on to serums and we have quite a lot of serums. It was hard to choose and I couldn't like filter out. So I'm just gonna go through them very quickly and they're all very different and unique. So let's get in. We're gonna start off with my ultimate favorite retinol, which is the 10% Phyto Retinol Firming Booster Serum. It's the Real Bacuchol Firming Serum by Neogen. I started using this last year and my skin was so smooth and clear. My, I don't know, like every time I used it, my skin was just so smooth and the texture was just like so beautiful. It uses Bacuchol, which is a natural alternative for retinol, which is found in plants. I prefer more of the mild formulas. I'm not someone who's like really into testing out with harsh chem. I think because the past few years, I've been on this journey of pregnancy and breastfeeding. So I've been having to really move away from strong things. This is something that I have been really enjoying and I really wanted to recommend to you guys if you want to work on your skin's texture, but gently, mild, non-fragranced, no alcohols, etc. cetera, Neogen. Um, one that I've been really loving and I'm just showing you guys my kind of empty bottle, the Urang Sika Soothing Ampoule, which has organic Centella Asiatica water and extract and 
and Madagascar side. This is beautiful. I think it's really unique amongst all of the Sika Soothing Ampoules in terms of using an organic ingredient. Like it's quite rare. I think it's the only one that I found that does that apart from maybe just one or two more brands. But this one just contained the most beautiful to use formula. It's blendable, it's light, it absorbs beautifully. It's not sticky and it's really soothing and nice. So whenever I'm like feeling a bit of irritation, I would reach for this one. It has a nice glass bottle to keep it nice and fresh as well. But yeah, I do have to mention the packaging. My one started to stop working, so I have to pour it out in my hand. So that's just a little thing about the packaging, but yeah, beautiful formula. Jumi So has been a definite favorite of 2021 and 2020 as well. I just love Jumi So. I think they're kind of like the benefits for makeup in terms of skincare field. Sometimes when skincare can start to feel like it's getting a little bit too serious and a little bit political sometimes in regards to what ingredient is better and safer and what's not. Jumi So comes in there with a little smiley face on their logo, their bright packaging. You know, it flows from top down for companies so you can tell who's at the top. Someone's like really friendly and happy and want to add happiness to this world. That's just a little thing that I appreciate and I appreciate their formulas are beautiful, well formulated, easy to use for everybody. You don't have to know a lot about skincare and um, they're all non-fragranced, no harsh alcohols. I think they're vegan as well so yeah my favorite has been the all day vitamin brightening and balancing serum which was in my beauty box before and the super soothing Sika and Aloe which is something that I used alternatively to the Oorang one. I believe that this is a little bit more on the affordable side as well and this is for brightening and balancing vitamin C. If you're feeling like your skin is kind of dull and you want to pick me up for your tone, this one has been really nice without any irritation. And then the super soothing Sika and Aloe has been for soothing. It's got the Aloe in there for all of the other nourishment, moisturization, protecting, healing properties. So this brand has come out with quite a lot of really nice serums that I just want to highlight one of them for you guys but I do like the other two as well. It's called the Beauty of Chosan Glow Serum and it contains propolis and niacinamide. This has a really short ingredients list. It is a very small product and I think it is kind of pricey but it contains a lot of propolis as their first ingredient which means that it doesn't use water or any other like fillers or dilutions. It's got 59.94% of propolis which as you guys know is quite a valuable ingredient Propolis has so many amazing properties. It's anti-inflammatory for inflamed or red or irritated sensitive skin. It's antimicrobial, so it's just really good for those who have acne prone skin or oiliness. It's got niacinamide in there, so it protects and nourishes and strengthens the skin's barrier whilst it soothes. And it only contains a few other ingredients, I believe, in there. So the texture is nice and light to apply. If you're pregnant, avoid it. But a beautiful serum, so I wanted to include that one in there. You guys know I mentioned Ionique in one of my previous, I believe two years ago, Best of Beauty Awards video. The Ionique Noni Light Oil Serum has been my favorite for 2021 more than all the other ones. This one has a really unique formula because it is actually an oil serum. So if you like something that's more nourishing and protecting and something that's multifunction because you don't have much time, this one is like a mix. It's a really nice light oil that's non-greasy but it's serum form so that it's blendable and it absorbs quickly but it doesn't just disappear. It it contains 42% of Mirinda Citrifolia fruit extract and 1000 ppm of Mirinda Citrifolia extract. This is a beautiful nourishing light oil serum. It's non-scented, it's soothing, nourishing and refreshing. One that's like super light and super gentle and mild and sensitive skin friendly is the Millimum Sprout Soothing Serum. And this is humongous guys. I actually mentioned Millimum in the past. They're actually a brand that Korean mums made together because when they had their own babies, they found that there were not many good baby products out there. So they decided to make their own. And in the past, their formulations, they have like baby wash and everything. I like them all, but they do contain artificial fragrance in them. So I didn't actually create any of them for created by Jen, except for this one, because it doesn't contain artificial fragrance. I found that the fragrance was a little bit strong, but this one is beautiful. It contains mugwort extract, which is an up and rising ingredient in the Korean skincare world. As you guys know, it's got SLB, complex which helps it to absorb quickly and it protects baby's sensitive delicate skin. It actually contains extracts from many different sprouts. So as you guys know you can use extracts from just regular fruit and vegetables but the sprout is when it contains like 10 times maybe the nutrition of a certain plant or whatnot. So this one is formulated with various vegetable root and seed extracts like broccoli, radish, cabbage and buckwheat which helps to promote a healthy skin barrier and actually protects against overheating and skin rashes and stuff. So yeah, as a side note, this brand is actually by
by Troy Etiquette. It's their baby brand. But if your baby has any heat rash and just overheating or skin rash problems, this is just beautiful. It's free of any artificial colorants, fragrance, parabens, sulfates, essential oils that are sensitizing and alcohol. So yeah, it contains a lot of product. You can use it on yourself. It's gel type, so it's any time of day, just quickly just lather it on and it'll just absorb really quickly. But yeah, having said that, it's not like ultra moisturizing or anything, so it's just good for the first step. It actually reminds me a lot of the Pyongyang Yoo Soothing Gel Lotion, but I prefer this one a little bit more in terms of the ingredients. So I wanted to mention this one for both babies and adults. Look how big it is compared to like adult size serums though. Maybe it's a little bit diluted, I'm not sure, but um, next up is a new one that I found towards the end of the year and it just made it on one of my ultimate favorite serums right now. It's Rod 3821, which is a new brand. I don't think they've done any market. I found it at that Cotra Live trade show thing. It's called the 3 Up Refining Anti Wrinkle Serum, and it's got fig, leaf, and fruit extract, which is another up and rising new hot kind of ingredient in skincare. You guys know, like, I'm from has like fig mask and stuff. This one actually helps with whitening and anti wrinkle and moisture. So it's got various functions. It's five free, no animal ingredients, no parabens, sulfates, phenoxyethanol, and artificial fragrance. Contains nice dynamite and adenosine for moisture and nourishment and it's such a beautiful formula guys <laughs> this one is so unique it reminds me of like a first step essence mixed with a lotion like a light lotion it's so nice to apply it's a unique color i think probably from the fig and it has a really short ingredients list if you have normal slash combination or even oily skin and you're looking for something that's soothing but it kind of leaves like a satin almost velvet finish to the skin so there's no leftover oiliness or greasiness at all and you want to do like whitening moisturizing anti-wrinkle and everything without being overly overboard and you're looking for something with no fragrance i'm like selling this so much then this is the one to go for rod 3821 i don't know if you can get it anywhere guys i haven't seen it so i'm gonna try and curate it for you guys as well by on curated by jen it's my absolute top favorite essence of two thousand sorry serum of 2021 so glad i came across that i'm so glad i did the cotra live thing because i was like considering not doing it but I have two last ones the Dr. Lacto Barrier Serum by Cleaderm which I mentioned before it smells like Yakult and it's the serum version it's a transparent kind of gel serum and it's just like so nice and light and refreshing and, and beautiful but I'm not sure if they're still continuing to make it it smells like Yakult it's so refreshing it's so light it's so beautiful um, the Ceramidin Serum by Dr. Jad is my last but not least and this one is the most heavy duty serum out of them all I think Yes, but this one is way more moisturizing and it's actually quite thick because it has the ceramides in it. it smells stronger and it is a little bit more greasier. Not greasy, it's just a little thicker. Yeah, it does have like a much stronger herbally scent than any of these like totally non-scented ones. But for those who are looking for substantial moisture in your product, if you have really dry skin or maybe in the winter, then this is the one that I would recommend, but it does contain a silicone in there. So if you're you know sensitive to silicones being in there, just be aware of that. So I do reach for that in the crazy winter months of Korea. So that was it for serums and we're going to move on to ampoules which is the higher concentrated active ingredient type of product. Okay guys let's keep going before the sun goes down we have ampoules. I am literally wrapping like never before. Guys this is just the serum. So this is so this is formulated with I need a break I need a rest a bit.